I have been fully aboard the struggle bus with the cars. Uh, so this car needs rear brake pads. Uh, when I first ordered the front brake pads, I got the wrong ones. So I had to get them, replace the fronts and it wasn't the fronts that it needed. It needed the rears. So I now have the rears. I took the whole thing apart. Didn't have the right Allen or, or Torx bit to get the calipers separated. So I couldn't do that. I've been screwing around with the starter on this car for what feels like an eternity because it just stopped working. Pulled the starter out and got a new one, uh, actually, which is in the trunk of this car, and hook it up and literally, it just starts smoking. So I think the replacement starter that I got is wrong. Now, the thing that's weird about it is this car has a D16 Y8, which is a newer engine. The starter that it had on it was more like an old school D15. So I don't know if the guy that put it on or built it for me did something different, whatever, but I'm gonna go get the correct D16 starter. So hopefully I can fix that car today. This one should be easy because I bought while I was at the parts store, the right Torx things. So I should be able to do the calipers on this. Then all I have to do is put the GM one wire alternator on the Hornet. I think it was a voltage regular went bad, but the alternator sucks too. So I bought a new GM one wire, but I didn't have the wires to hook it up. So now we have that battery cable too. My goal today is at least to get a starter onto this car so that it runs. Tonight, I'll do the rear pads on this car. And then tomorrow, maybe I'll go do the alternator on the Hornet. The alternator is tricky because I have to grind it a little bit because it's not, I'm not using an OEM alternator, but I don't know. So my car struggles, hopefully will soon be over. It is after work, super grumpy today. So I left the office a little bit early, went to the parts store, exchanged the other starter for this one. And I had them test it because I'm like, I feel like I'm going crazy, but this thing just throws massive sparks when I try to hook it up and all that. And they're like, yeah, it's definitely got a dead short inside. So it wasn't me, I'm not going crazy. I mean, I am going crazy, but I'm not for that particular reason. I am gonna disconnect the battery on this when I hook up the starter this time because when I did it before, it threw really huge sparks. <laughs> so I should just be able to pop this starter in real quick. I got the actual one for this motor. Starter is installed down in there. Once I know that it works, I'll peel the stickers and stuff off so it looks a little cleaner. Hook up the battery and see what we get. I'm here, neutral. It's probably dead, but. Okay. Battery is dead from all the times I've tried and cranked and whatever, so I'm gonna jump it off the white car. Ready. I'll cross one car off my list to fix. Next, uh, brake pads on that, which I'll probably do tonight. Kids are in bed. Before bed, I put uh, this car up on the jack stand and took the wheel off, which basically forces me to do the brakes tonight because I've needed to do it for so long and been lazy. So I'm gonna knock these out real quick. This situation escalated pretty quickly. I forgot that this car has this stupid electric parking brake and Initially, I thought that you turned it off by just turning it off and you don't. So I completely destroyed my caliper, I think. Uh, and I still like the caliper is legitimately all the way off the car. There's brake fluid everywhere. I got, I pulled the lines off. First I popped the bleeder valve out thinking like I could compress the cylinder easier that way. I think basically the whole time it was in service mode. Like I put it in service mode, but I had already disconnected the plug, I think. I don't remember, but I'm pretty certain I had already unplugged the connector so the car is in service mode but the caliper isn't and as i was cranking it down like it just ruined it so i'm sure this will be a super expensive fix luckily i got the silver car starter in uh the battery is still dead so i'll probably just end up like bump starting it driving it to AutoZone or whatever buying a battery putting a new battery in it and then that'll be fine but <sighs> talk about a feeling of defeat Silver car is running awesome. Um, the battery is bad. I bought a charger, but I don't know. It didn't charge this Optimo battery, which sucks, but I ended up getting this little Titan tractor battery. For anybody wondering, a Home Depot $25 lawn tractor battery. It is a U1R1T. Starts this thing. So it's in there now. I just bought it because it was small and whatever. I'm gonna leave the Optimon trickle for like a really long time and see if that fixes it because it's a brand new battery. I don't think it should have gone bad, but the dead short in the starter, whatever, doesn't matter. Uh, so here's the yellow car. I've got the alternator is up in place. I just have to kind of like actually bolt it in. So I'm gonna lower the car down, tinker with that. Hopefully I can get this thing running because it has a back seat so I can actually drive both kids in it. I ordered the caliper and the parking brake thing from the dealer today. It should be here Monday or Tuesday. So hopefully that car will be back together without any major issue. I'll probably do the rear pads uh, the other side like tonight or tomorrow or something too, just so they're done.
All right, new plan. I have the one wire in here. It looks all right, but again, it's humongous in there and it actually hits the oil filter, which I didn't plan on. So I was like, oh, I'll just do an oil filter relocation. And then I'm like, what am I doing? This is stupid. So I'm gonna ditch the GM one wire. So I just ordered from Rock Auto. Uh, a new alternator that's just the AMC one and a new voltage regulator. When I took the alternator in to be tested, they said it tested out okay. The brushes were like 60 or 70% worn, um, but they said it might be a bad voltage regulator. And then as I was going through looking at stuff, um, this connection here was actually undone like this and just kind of touching. That's actually for the ignition system, the power for it. Uh, I just never put the proper connection on it because I'm an idiot. And the battery ground right here is loose too. Probably wasn't the alternator or the voltage regulator that were a problem. It was something completely different. I just didn't diagnose it right because I don't know why. <laughs> so I just spent a hundred bucks, got a brand new alternator, brand new voltage regulator. Should be here by like Tuesday or Wednesday. Next week, I'll put that back in here. This car will be running awesome again. And then I'll probably start daily driving this for the foreseeable future because it's a fun car to drive. But for now, I'm gonna drive the silver car home and pretty stoked my dad is coming up and I haven't seen him in a while. So that'll be cool. He's the one that gave me the yellow car in fact and helped me get this car finished after like forever. So there's a dyno day at uh, Cody Loveland's place. So we might swing over and check that out. In fact, we probably will. And that's what I got planned.